Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 8th grade concept of compound interest, specifically how we can calculate it in problem situations, and we'll do it in 5 minutes or less. So when we're looking at compound interest, we need to make sure that we're looking at compound rather than simple. It has a different formula. So our formula is going to be A equals principal, but then we've got parentheses here, 1 plus the rate. So we're going to take the rate, turn that from a percent into a decimal, add 1 to it, and then we're actually going to raise it to the t power. So that's where it gets a little bit interesting. So let's see what that looks like. So we'll start with uh, something pretty simple. So our principal uh, is going to be our p. So that's the amount that you're starting with. So let's say that you are starting with oh, $7,500 in this particular case. And let's say your R, which is our interest rate, always given to you in a percent, which we need to turn into a decimal. So that is going to equal, oh, let's say 4.25%. And it is compounded annually. And the T is the time, length, and years. And let's say it's you get that for six years. Now, this is why we need a calculator. Because let me show you what this actually going to look like. So we're going to calculate 7,500 times 1 plus, let's change this 4.25% into a decimal, so that's 0 0.0425. That's not so difficult, even though it's tedious. Look what we got to do. we got to raise that to the t power, so to the sixth. So with our order of operations, we actually take care of this first. Then we multiply it by 7,500, which is why we need our calculator here. So first, let's figure out what this looks like right here. Let's take care of that first. So 1 plus 0 0.0425. And that's obviously going to be 1.0425. So and depending on what your calculator looks like, on this particular calculator, we're going to push this XY button right here. Because what that does is that says, all right, so whatever we've entered there is going to be our base number. And it's looking for me to insert the next number, which is going to be raising it to the certain power. So that xy lets me raise it to the sixth power. So I'm going to get, if you look at the very top up there on my calculator, you see that 1.0425. And then you've got that little caret. That's how they actually show you can raise it to the sixth power. So that means that to the sixth. So I'm going to get this incredibly long number. Um, and I'm going to keep that in the calculator, but I'm just going to kind of estimate it here. Because really what we're doing now is we're going to multiply 7,500 by 1.2836. Uh, I'm just going to round it. That's far enough. So we're going to keep that in the calculator. We're not going to write that down. Now we're going to multiply that by that 7,500. And... Obviously, we're going to round this to our first two decimals. So that's going to be 9,627 dollars. Now, this is not the amount of interest that you earned. This is the A. So that's the new amount. So they, what they do is they give you uh, the new amount, including the interest in the principal. So I grew from 7,500 down to this 9627.59. If I want the interest earned, I need to take away the principal. So let's subtract the 7,500 and the interest earned. And we're just going to subtract here. So this is actually my interest earned. So you have to do an extra subtraction if you want to figure out what that is.